Hi everybody, this is Tyler with McCool Media. Welcome to McCool Media Training. In this video, I'd like to focus on the layout, the options, some of the buttons, how you can customize sorting things, um, some of the different ways that you can get around in Final Cut Pro 10. So for people who are not that familiar with it. As you can see, there's a few things on the screen right now. This is the default view. I already have some things on this hard drive and some media and some things that I've imported. So that's what you're going to see on the top left. On the top left is what's called the event library as you see right here. My hard drive is called McCool Media. That's the internal hard drive on this computer. If I had other hard drives connected, you would also see them listed either above or below. And you can also expand and close hard drives by clicking on the triangle to the left of them. Now these purple stars with names next to them these are events whether it's video or video and audio photos everything can go into an event now for example if I click on this right here it's gonna be highlighted inside the helmet this is all about motorcycling and some people shots some stuff at the racetrack you can skim over and scroll down and see all the different clips that I have in here this is all just video now you see that there's some green areas. I've uh, favorited those. So there's there's a way to do that and that's in some other another time. We'll save that for another video. Something to look at is some of the buttons to change the way that you can see your events. Now this little slider, there's a slider here that says 5S. That's 5 seconds. So if I drag this around, it's going to allow me to see more or less. I want to say a one minute range so that's gonna allow me to see all the clips and their relatively smaller thumbnail size or if I zoom in all the way down to one second half a second I'm gonna have a longer scroll and a longer list to go through because it's allowing me to see more detail in what was shot basically spreading things out I usually like to go somewhere around 30 seconds so I like to be able to see more now if you click on this little light switch right here, it's going to give you, if you want to change the height of these clips, it's going to do this dynamically, it's going to change them while I do it. Uh, as you see, I like something in the, about the third range. And also, if you'd like to see audio waveforms, you can choose to turn that on or off. A couple more options over on the left. If you choose to view your clips in a list instead of a thumbnail preview, you can do that as well. So we can see 24 clips in a list and I can go over them and I can click on one and I can go down them with the arrow key. Sometimes it makes more sense to sort in this list view uh, if you have a lot of clips and you need to look for something really specific or maybe you have something by camera angle or you need to know something exact. It's Sometimes it's easier to use this. Back to what are some of these other buttons and what are some of these other functions? Now on the middle, this middle bar here, this uh, light gray color, over on the left that's an import button. If I click on that I'm going to pull up an import window which there's more to this but essentially if you had different devices connected up on the top left, cameras, those would show up there, different hard drives and you can also set favorite areas. We're going to close that down for now. There are these buttons here for tagging clips. You can mark favorites. You can clear favorites. You can also reject something. A shortcut key for that is to just hit delete on whatever you have selected. It does not actually delete the clip. To actually remove the clip completely, you have to hit Apple delete. So just by hitting delete on something, you're going to make it be rejected. You're going to tag it as, I don't like this clip. Now there's a key right here. This is something else that we're going to do a separate video on just uh, by itself. This is the keyword editor. If you click on this, you'll see a range of different words that are assigned to different keyboard shortcuts. And you can also have many more than that. It's limitless to the number of keywords that you can do. So bikes, interviews, riding, racing, these are all motorcycle related as you can tell. People in action, review, onboard entertainment. So for example, if I wanted to tag 
different parts of different clips with these keywords, I could then search by them later. Now we're going to save that for another video, but it's very, very powerful. So what are these other buttons? These are related more to editing, so we're not going to focus on those right now, but if you wanted to connect, edit, insert, edit, or append to the bot, rather to the end, that's what these buttons are for. There's also shortcut keys for these on the keyboard, so I'm not going to focus on that. Now this arrow, as we see, we have an arrow right now. Uh, when you're in a project, you have different tools that you can use, and you can select them via drop-down menu as well as by pressing these keys, A, T, P, R, B, Z, and H. So you can trim, position, they all have different functions. We're going to save that for another video as well. Over in the middle, you've got 100% means I don't have anything rendering right now, I don't have anything importing, I'm not exporting anything, so right now that's at 100% and it's green. It means there's nothing processing by Final Cut right now. There's a balance color tool here. Also, we're not going to focus on that um, for some quick color correction if you want to use it. You can match it to another clip or you can have it do an auto correct which usually is not very accurate I would not depend on that now some of these buttons over on the right I'm gonna go into a project and open these up we double click on that we've got a project here that we we have put in some clips now if I click on one of these for example on the left this is the effects browser it's gonna pop out on the bottom right and I have all kinds of effects I do have a lot more than come with Final Cut I've installed a lot of extra ones and you'll see that in my list there there are several other items that you don't see just installed straight off the shelf uh, so if you're wondering where some of these come from I have installed a lot of third-party stuff you scroll through this just like normal there's basics there's basics black and white colorized there's a lot of things that you can do and actually, if you hover over them, you'll get a preview for most of them as to what it'll do to your clip up in the preview window up top. This is actually another really nice feature that is not offered in most other editing programs. So you can jump into these effects and you can say, well, what's going to happen if I apply this effect? It'll give you a rough idea. Now a lot of these you can customize and tweak to your liking, but you can at least get a ballpark and know if you're going to be in the right direction or not. So what's the next button? Photos browser. Now there's media here. We're not going to get into that, but if you have a lot of other media on your computer, you can look at it here. There's a music's, music option. I've got a lot of different sound effects in here, but I don't usually bring them in this way. I usually bring them right into the event up on the top left so I have it up there. Now the next one over is transitions. There's a lot that come with Final Cut. Things that you can use to transition between your clips. Um, experiment with them as you will. Um, not going to spend any time on that. Now here are titles. These can be, I have some also third-party stuff here. There's There's some assembling text, some animated text, some very simple fade in text. Um, you can get previews of them by hovering over them. As you see here, skim over and you get an idea. A little 70s lights effect. Um, so you can just look through and see what, what's in there. The next button over is generators. These are all kinds of different. It's hard to explain. Uh, the word generator maybe doesn't make much sense don't know what would work the best but this is where you can have solid colors so if you need to get a solid color whether it's a custom and you can choose your own or you need to take a solid green or a gray or you need to put something in your project there's also some textures in here metal grunge um, and you can modify these also and I also have some third-party ones um, FX Factory Pro, you'll, you've seen this on a couple of these tabs. It's a it's a website and a plugin where you can install many many effects of different companies and get trial versions of them for free and install them on here and then buy them as you like. 
one by one. Or you can buy the entire package. Now themes at the end, this is a bit complicated so I don't really want to get into too much detail but there, there's really an endless amount of options of things that you can get for Final Cut that you can add into it, that you can get for it, whether it's effects, titles, animated text, for example this MoType here, this is just one third party plugin and it's fully animated text effect which you can customize to your liking, different styles, different animation types, make it move how you want. So there's really an endless amount of stuff out there, and there's quite a bit of free stuff too. So if you do some searching around, you can find a lot of free third-party effects and plugins for Final Cut 10 that you can install right in here, right to all these different tabs that I just walked you through. So if you hit on this X button, this is going to close out whatever option you're in, whatever of these windows that you were in. It's going to close out of it. So if I went back in Generators, it's always the same couple other buttons over here on the right on the far right this is gonna say share this is export basically if you want to send it to YouTube Vimeo Facebook or if you want to send a master file you want to export something in H.264 for Apple devices these are shortcut basically the the top most common ones um, you can also access this by going up to file and clicking share and getting more options but um, so that's one way to get to it and also this little button with the rails and buttons on it this is the inspector that's going to allow you to customize a lot of things about your clip um, whether in your project or in your event browser you can get information on the frames per second the video settings the audio settings I actually have a video on going through some of that so not going to get too in detail. Now moving down these buttons on the bottom there's some zooming magnification that's pretty obvious you can also hit this little light switch as I like to call it and you can change the appearance in your project you can say if you want to see a video preview with a waveform audio or if you don't want to see that maybe you just want to see video so now we've just got the video or I don't want to see video at all I want to keep things condensed you can click on the far right or maybe you're working in audio only there's you can also customize the height on these and change make it look however you like I recommend to keep show connections on which will show you when you connect and add things on top and bottom layers it will show you how they're connected so I would leave that alone and on this little reel on the bottom left that's going to take you out of the timeline and bring you back to the project library which right now it's the only project then there's this folder right here I've got some other stuff I open that up so you can see that's what I've got in this hard drive um, obviously there's more you can go and you can pretty much go to no end um, I guess just click around experiment and that's really the best way to learn. You can see that there's a lot more options up in the file menus up in the top. Let's for example if you had a second monitor you could say I want to show this on a second monitor and all this kind of stuff but I'll leave that to people who just want to experiment with it and um, I'm gonna let you guys go on this video. Thank you guys for watching and don't forget to check out mccoolmedia.net which is that's our hub and that's where you can find out about us and what we do aside from these training videos also check us out on YouTube we've got youtube.com slash media McCool and also a blog on Tumblr where we're sharing our favorite things on Vimeo blogs and trainings like this and just all kinds of topics coming soon so thank you guys again and uh, look forward to sending more videos your way